Hey everybody, this is Dave Cooper and we are live on location in England at British Offsite and standing with me is Grant Metham, who is the production manager here inside the factory. Grant, thank you for joining us. No worries, thank you. All right, what is your day-to-day -day role here? Day-to-day -day role is operations manager, so it's looking after the whole shop floor, making everything's being made as it should, and that we're quality compliant in everything that we do. So that's making sure we're hitting the targets in all the areas that's needed. So this manufacturing facility has really only been operational for the last few months, so to speak, right? A year, roughly? Yeah. Yep. Uh, and with it, it's become like a really big test facility for your new panel system that you're using on a lot of your high-rise buildings. Yeah, 100% correct. 100% correct. So we're going to walk through and we're going to talk a little bit about what's happening here. But why I say test facility, this is where you guys did all the prototypes. This is where you figured out the system, got all the approvals. And now you have another factory that's being built that's going to be highly automized using robots and the best technology out there, yes? That's correct. Next year we move into the big, bigger facility with automation at the front end of the line. So it's half the process will be fully automated. That's it. And I think the most important part of this interview today and showing this manufacturing process is you can take incremental steps to build what your supply chain is going to look like and do it in a productive way, right? Exactly and, and, that. And, and do it in a way that makes sense for your business. You don't have to go fully automated right out of the gate. Exactly that. So we can do a step-by-step -step process. We can get everything right, make sure it's how it needs to be, both for as a business and the customer, and then move on the process from there. That's right. All right, so we're standing at literally the beginning of this line. You can see there's a Howick machine behind us here. So this Howick machine is actually printing out the cold form steel, right? The rolled steel. Exactly that, yeah. And, and what are we printing? Like you can see some of it behind us. Here. Yeah, so we're printing out the studs at, at this moment in time. So it comes in, it comes, comes in on the coil, it goes through the code, the Howick tells it what to print and it comes through and it gets printed out on studs. And then it moves over to station one. So let's walk over to station one so we can see how everything is going together. So what are we looking at here, Grant? So this is where we've just built the first frame. So it moves, it moves from the Howick, it comes onto station one where the frame is all put together. So we use the technical drawings with the metal that's been uh, pressed out and it's all put together on station one. All right, there's a lot of different pieces of the puzzle here in sizes. That Howick machine prints this exactly the way you're seeing it and it's literally just plug and play. Exactly that, that, how we print it, how we need it, and it becomes a big Meccano set, and we follow the technical drawings and we put it all together. Right, so this is the internal framing of the panel system, which we're gonna show you over at, at the framing station two, right? Yes. So Grant, we're at station two. What do we have on the end here that wasn't in station one? So this is, when it comes to the end of the process on station one, we put the head shutter in place, and we also put the eye bolts in place. So this forms part of the structure when it goes on site to be able to pull the concrete into essentially. So this is for picking the wall system up, correct? Yes, so this is for picking the panel system up, not only to transport it in our factory, but also when it gets to site as well. And, and this system here, what do you call it? Head shutter. The head shutter. I, I was calling it a trowel, right? Okay. This sits on top of the wall. This is to catch the concrete once it's vertical on the building. Exactly that. So when you pour the concrete slab, it sits within there. Yeah, and yet we're going to show that to you on site, so it's going to be pretty amazing to see how this all comes together. So, all right, now we're going to move to where? If we move across this next station here. So this is, this is still part of stations two. Okay. This, this is where we put the VCL in place and we tape it around so it has an airtight barrier before it moves across, across to station three. So everything's going to have an air barrier before it goes to station three. Exactly, yeah. Perfect, let's go. All right, so Grant, now we've gone from this station over here. We have the overhead cranes that actually pick these panels up. This is a smaller portion of the panel, and it sits here. And this is where you're putting in the insulation. This is, this is where we, in, we in, fully insulate the panel. Yeah. We fully insulate all the cavities, and then we move it across to the next station. Right, and it has its air barrier on it, like as we were showing at the last station. It has its air barrier, and then we board it on the next station which creates the outer board area. All right, and this insulation is like what we call in the United States rocks. Well, it's another rock silk material. Exactly the same, exactly got it. the same. Got it, so it doesn't burn. It gives you your fireproofing, your fire rating, all of those things, right? It gives us everything we need to be compliant. Okay, 
So in this station then, Grant, it looks like they're starting to put the exterior board on. Yeah, so in this station, we put the exterior wind line of board on and we tape it all down. And you tape it all down, you seal everything up, and this is where the air barriers really come into play. The air barrier is fully formed at this stage. Right. So is this an interior or exterior? That is the exterior. The exterior of it, yeah. I see you got your flashing already started in some of the areas, and this is going to be an opening, I'm assuming, for a door? Yes, this, this will most likely be a patio door that's going to go in here. It could be a big window or a patio door either, depending on the customer specification. Perfect, perfect. All right, so from this station here, we got, a, we got our air barrier on, we got our insulation inside, we got our exterior sheathing on, we got our air barrier tape on. Now where are we headed? Now we're heading to the, what we call the, the finishing aisles, which yep. is where the windows go in and also the EPDM. So Grant, so we, we went from where they were putting in the insulation, the exterior sheathing board, doing the air barrier, the crane picks it up, we bring it over here, now it's in a vertical position and they're installing the windows. Yeah, so now it's in the vertical position, this is where we install the windows. We fit window straps to the side of the windows, which then in turn sit in the, in the recess of the panel and we then fit them in place. Yeah. So that's what the gentlemen are doing at the minute. All right, Grant, so we came down, they installed the windows down here. I see they're starting to put some more exterior insulation on the wall as well, but we also have all the flashing going in place here. Why don't you explain to us what's happening That's here? That's correct. So at this stage here, this is where we fit the EPDM and it creates a watertight seal. And we also put the rain screen on the outside. This right. is the final station before it loads to go to our customer. Yeah. And this EPDM, I mean, this is thick stuff. I mean, look at the thickness on the flashing around the corner of the windows here. Yeah. I think it's amazing. And they're also gonna run it along the bottom. Also along the bottom as well. All right, from this stage then, it's a matter of wrapping it to protect it? Yeah, we wrap it to protect it with our British offsite, with our British offsite wrap, and then they get lo loaded onto the trailer. And so then that's where we're gonna go over here and we're gonna load that onto the trailer now. So let's do it. come with us. I think they're actually getting ready to load one. All right, Grant, we're at the final station here where they're gonna start loading the trucks to deliver to the job site. All of the units are wrapped, all the panels, and protected, the windows are protected. The layout of the truck is a very important layout for, for safety reasons, correct? Yeah, so the layout of the truck allows us to have four different racks and it also allows site to be able to climb up on the middle. They, allow, they won't have to put any ladders up on the outside. They can hook up from the middle and lift it straight into position on site. So in terms of health and safety, it's the most efficient way of doing it. So let me get this straight. So you have the panels run here. You have a panel system run here. So you got four rows of panels. Yes. It's open in the middle for the efficiency of the employees and the safety of the employees but as long as they can work then they can work quickly they can work safely and they can get these panels where they need to be exactly that that's the reason for Perfect. it the whole reason for the sale got it got it we got to get out of the way yes, here it looks like they're going to have a panel rolling into place so why don't we show that and final step of the process film All right, as they're putting that final panel into place here, and we're showing that, you've seen this process go from its infancy of trials, errors, testing, prototype, to actually getting approvals to use this on site in your high rise buildings. What is it like to know you're going from this to a much larger automated factory? And then what size is this factory? Firstly, it's very exciting that we're going to be moving to the new factory. It's 137,000 square feet, and it's going to fully automate the process. So it's looking really good. Yeah, and it's a big investment, right? $37 million. It's a massive investment, and it's good that we're going to be able to take the current workforce with us. We're going to be training the current workforce, showing them modern technology so they can be at the forefront with us as well. And I think that's really important because, you know, you have a trained workforce here that's now going to move over and they're actually going to even up their jobs because now they're getting into automation, their skill level is going to go up and it gives everybody a lot more opportunity within British Offsite. Exactly that. So we're also launching the British Offsite Training Academy. So everybody will have their place within that and it will be fully mapped out for everybody there. Grant, it's been a pleasure, man. I look Thank forward you. to coming back and checking out this new manufacturing facility. It's going to be automated. I think what you're doing is amazing with the walls. It's about taking things and that already exists and optimizing what it is. And you guys have put a system together for floors and walls 
that I've not seen before. So I appreciate the tour. Brilliant. Thank you very much. There you have it, everybody. Dave Cooper live at British Offsite. Wait until you see the job location. We're going to have a lot of fun with this. We'll see you next time. Bye now.